The story begins in 1982. It was an ordinary sunny day, and all the children were heading to school. Dale came to this school by bus. He was at this school for the first time, and he still had to get to know everyone. The bell rang, and all the children went to classes. The teacher introduced Dale to the whole class, but when he entered the classroom, all the children looked at him with contempt. Dale realized that he was not welcome here and decided to show a trick to amuse the children. He pretended that he stuck a pencil in his eye, and it was so plausible that even the teacher fell out of the window from fright. The lesson passed and Dale walked through the dining room and looked for a place to sit, but no one wanted to sit with him because of his morning trick. He sat down alone and a classmate sat down with him. He said that he really liked his trick with a pencil. This neighbor's name was Chip. They met and realized that they had a lot in common. They became friends and got together at home after school. They started performing on stage at school and they fell in love very quickly. Then they decided to go to California and started acting in commercials, after which they received a call and were offered to create their own show. This show was called Chip and Dale Rushed to the Rescue. It was already 1990. The next shooting was over and Chip and Dale gathered a party for this occasion. Everyone was having fun except Dale and he went home. Chip brought Dale a piece of cake but when he went into the house, Dale told him the news. This news was that Dale had created his own personal show in which he would have the role of a spy. Chip was upset and even a little angry because if Dale goes to his show, the rescuers will close their show. That's what happened. The show was closed and Chip and Dale quarreled. It took a very long time and Dale had a 3D operation. He was at an exhibition where all the popular stars performed. His popularity fell so much that no one approached him. Meanwhile, Chip worked in the insurance service. They were no longer needed by anyone and they had to get a regular job. Chip sold another insurance and as the working day was over, after work he was walking home where his dog was waiting for him. A message came to his answering machine. It was his friend Rocky. He asked him for help and asked him to come to him. Rocky is his friend with whom he starred in the show Chip and Dale rushed to help. Dale remembered the times when he starred in the show and went to Rocky. He rang his doorbell. Suddenly someone grabbed him and dragged him into the apartment. It was Rocky and he was hiding from someone. Rocky told about his problem. His problem was that he owed a lot of money to a powerful gang and he could not pay because he had no money. Chip promised to help. Suddenly someone knocked on the door. Rocky was scared and hid. It turns out it was Dale. He also came to visit Rocky. Dale and Chip met after a long separation. Chip still held a grudge against him. He got dressed and left. He walked down the street and swore at Dale. He saw an advertisement for a movie and decided to watch it at home. He had almost finished watching this movie with the dog when suddenly Dale called him. Dale was very scared. He told Chip that their mutual friend Rocky had been kidnapped. Chip and Dale arrived at Rocky's apartment where the police were already there. Chip and Dale said that Rocky owed money to one gang and most likely this gang called Dolan kidnapped him. The policemen did not take up this case because they could not catch this gang for several years. The policemen left and Chip and Dale despaired because no one could help them. Suddenly an assistant came to the window police officer. She said that if they find the lair of the gang, they will be able to find their missing friend. They wanted to go on a search, but did not know where to start. Suddenly Chip smelled the smell of cheese. It was Rocky cheese thrown out. Now they knew where Rocky Cheese was bought and this was their first clue. They sat down, they got into the car and went to the cheese store. This store was on Main Street. They approached the store and asked the seller for a fragrant cheese. This cheese was illegal in this country, so he opened a secret passage into the room in which visitors tasted this cheese. Chip asked the seller if he knew Rocky. The seller invited them to get acquainted with the head of this store. They were tied up and they went to him. They arrived and were met by a big security guard who let them through. It was an ordinary legal factory. They went into the head's office and Peter Pan was sitting in front of them in a chair. Chip and Dale asked if Rocky knew where he had disappeared. It turns out Rocky was held hostage by Peter. He was the head of the gang. He was engaged in illegal business. He stole popular stars and recorded movies with them and made a lot of money from them. Peter wanted to steal Chip and Dale to make a movie with them, but they were able to escape through the toilet, and from the toilet they got into the sewer where they were carried along the sewer with the help of a strong current. At the last moment they were able to catch on a rope and get out into the street. Ella came to visit Chip and Dale. They figured out how to catch Peter Pan. Peter had a bracelet that counted his steps and tracked his route and they could find a secret film studio where illegal movies were filmed and where Rocky's missing friend could be. 
but they didn't know where she was. Then Ella told that Peter goes to the Russian bathhouse on weekends and they could also get in there. They disguised themselves as plumbers and went to the bathhouse. They were able to get in there and went in search of Peter. They needed Peter's locker in which his watch was. Suddenly on them a snake got out that didn't let them pass. It turns out this snake was a fan of Chip and Dale and while Dale was distracting her, Chip tried to open the locker. They were able to steal the watch and now they were able to track where Peter went and they went to this place together with the special forces. They penetrated the laboratory in which they found a lot of evidence. These clues were photos of popular actors that he kidnapped. Chip and Dale made their way into the lab and Chip accidentally started some kind of transformation machine. They couldn't do anything and it was impossible to get out of this machine. There was a laser field in front of them that was supposed to destroy them, but they were able to cope with it. Chip accidentally changed his ear and now he had another ear. Unfortunately, they couldn't find their friend Rocky and got very upset. And Peter Pan was watching all this. He wanted to steal them and make a pirated version of their show. The next day came and Chip and Dale were at the police station. Suddenly Dale smelled Rocky. He ran to the smell and this trace led them to the office of the chief policeman. Chip grabbed Dale and dragged him outside. He realized that something illegal was happening at the police station. They realized that Ella was somehow involved to the disappearance of their friend Rocky and that most likely she works for this gang. Dale asked his friend Sonic for help, but while they were talking to him, Chip saw Peter in the distance and they ran. But Peter noticed them and ran after them. One of Peter's assistants managed to grab Dale, but Chip saved him. They made their way to the parking lot and were able to hide there. Suddenly Dale noticed that Chip disappeared and that he wasn't anywhere. It turns out that Peter kidnapped Chip and glued him to the wall. Suddenly Ella burst into them. She pointed a gun at Peter, but suddenly someone also pointed a gun at her from behind. It was Captain Patty. It turns out it wasn't Ella who was on the side of evil. It was Captain Patty. Patty said that he works for Peter for money. Meanwhile, Dale was at home. He didn't know what to do next. Suddenly his phone rang. It was Ella. She told Dale to come to the lab where they were already. Dale realized that this was a trap and he went to his girlfriend Nut to help him free his friends and they flew to the laboratory. They flew up to her and Dale went to save his friends. He was able to turn off the machine in which the chip was. A few more seconds and the chip would have died. Dale freed Ella, but suddenly a special machine exploded and because of the explosion, this machine turned Peter into a cyborg. Patty tried to hide but Ella ran after him and they started a fight. And meanwhile Chip and Dale were trying to hide from Peter on the set where Peter's films were shot. There were many popular clean characters on these sites. While they were running from Peter, Ella was able to defeat Patty in their fight. Chip and Dale also figured out how to defeat Peter. They could lure him and throw a heavy object on him. They did so and they succeeded. Evil was defeated and Chip and Dale proved that they could not only act in some shows and they can save people. They were about to leave when suddenly Peter shot Chip. Dale jumped and thereby covered him with his body from the projectile and thereby saved Chip. Dale fell from the wound he received and Chip began to cry because he lost his only friend. Suddenly Dale woke up. It turns out his medal saved him, which did not let him die. Chip and Dale found the container in which Rocky was. They opened it and a lot of cartoon characters ran out on them, and Rocky was standing somewhere in the depths. Finally, they were able to find and save him. They went off into the sunset in full force.